And let me go first to Adam Kinzinger, who has been quoted as saying this, in part, that the committee is presenting the American people, what they are presenting the American people, certainly would rise to a level of criminal involvement by a president and definitely failure of the oath. What do you think about uh, Congressman Kinzinger saying that? Well, he's just dead wrong. He confuses the word unlawful with criminal. You may argue, and if you believe all these witnesses who haven't been cross-examined, if you believe everything they say, then maybe some people committed acts that violate the Constitution, like, for example, uh, giving arresting somebody and getting a confession without getting a Miranda warning. Those are unlawful acts, but they're not criminal acts. And any first-year law student must understand the difference between something that may be unlawful and something that's criminal. That's number one. Number two, much of this is hearsay. And number three, the definition of the word witness is somebody who testifies and is then subject to confrontation and cross-examination. We didn't hear any witnesses today. We heard scripted testimony. And I don't think anybody should ever credit testimony that hasn't been subject to cross-examination. Blackstone called cross-examination the greatest engine of truth ever developed. And that's exactly why this Democrat-controlled committee doesn't want cross-examination or confrontation. So this is not to be trusted. We've heard one side. It's like watching a basketball game in which one team keeps shooting and scoring, but the other team is not allowed on the field. Well, you know what? There's, I mean, I think there are a lot of facts here. You and I both look through it uh, through a legal lens. You and I both have tried cases. And even like the, a news organization had a poll and it said nearly six in 10 Americans say Trump should be criminally charged for role in January 6th riot. Well, six in 10, I mean, nobody's watched even everything that the committee has presented, yet people have opinions on whether something should be criminally prosecuted or not. And even a grand jury, if, which is one sided, would have all the evidence to consider. But instead, we've got news organizations going out and fishing for whether something should be prosecuted or not. Well, look, you have people like Professor Lawrence Tribe, my former colleague, who says that President Trump attempted to murder uh, Pence. I mean, and CNN puts that drivel on without any answers. I mean, CNN essentially is just repeating the narrative every day that the committee is hearing. So people don't hear the other side of the story. Uh, Pelosi kept two Democrats, two Republicans, I'm sorry, off the committee which I think violates the spirit of how Congress should be conducting these matters. Moreover, have we heard a word about how to solve this problem, how to pass legislation? That's what committee hearings are supposed to be about. This is all about pointing fingers, creating blame, helping to prevent Trump from running for re-election. Look, I'm not a Trump supporter. I voted for Biden and I voted for Clinton, but I want a fair process. This is anything but a fair process. And they have cheated. They have doctored the tape. For example, in the first night, they showed parts of the Trump speech on January 6th, but they left out the words, I want you to go to the Capitol, and I want you to protest peacefully and patriotically, and have your voices heard. So if a grand jury heard a part of a tape, and the prosecution doctored the tape, even a grand jury one-sided would not appropriately be allowed to indict. You can't cheat the way the Democrats have done by editing, doctoring tapes, not presenting witnesses on the other side, and not allowing cross-examination. Professor Dershowitz, thank you very much for joining me, sir. Thank you.